Okay guys, so welcome to Thailand Testimonial Part 2. Um, we are currently sitting with Mr. Wayne Taylor. He was actually one of the first people to come through the course. Um, he started back in 2017. So himself and his girlfriend came through to Thailand when we were still very small as a company. So the whole purpose of the interview is to give you guys an idea of how everything is from different people's perspectives. So with Wayne being one of the earliest members, the company wasn't as great as it is now, obviously we all know that. Um, but Wayne, I need to ask you a few questions just to help the people from home integrating um, into the whole society of teaching abroad. So what I would like to do is just ask you to give them a basic introduction of who you are, what's your background, where do you come from and when did you move here okay. and where are you living now currently. Okay, hi everyone, my name is Wayne Taylor, I am originally from South Africa, Bloemfontein, and believe it or not, I worked in retail beforehand, so yeah, coming here to, we came to Lampang, coming here, there's a lot of, it was a, a, a big transition, but it, it is quite easy, it is easily to adapt to the lifestyle here and to the new challenge, so Anyone can do it. We've been here for seven months now. We arrived last year, July 2018. And yeah, having a blast since then. Okay, so now my biggest problem, me being the, the, the foreign teachers manager, is always trying to express to the people back home. Okay, so now you have to uproot yourself um, from a country that you've known almost 20 something years. Um, I know it's not an easy process, but what would you recommend to the people back home willing to consider this? Um, what would you say or uh, a sentence of encouragement as to you know what position you were in before coming here? You were stressed, you didn't know if you were making the right move, am I right? Yeah, no, 100%. Now, um, in light of that, it is a big, big adjustment. I mean, I lived in South Africa for my whole life in Bloemfontein, so this was my first travel abroad as well. And it, it really is pretty easy to adjust. Everything is, in a sense, we, we were very stressful of coming here, but everything fell in place. You have the support circle, everyone that helps you along the way. It's a very easy transition to make. Um, getting here takes a while to adapt, especially to the weather yes. and then the food. But once you get that under your belt, you, you really experience the best. Okay, so back Just for example, um, how would you say the food is different from the SA? Um, okay, firstly it's a bit more spicy, and mm -hmm. but in a sense it's it's healthier and very very cheap. Yes, I was surprised, um, especially looking at meat prices. Mm -hmm. um, it's really it's easy living here. You can get by with the minimum, and it's it's nice along the way as well. They have a lot of markets here where you can just throw something to get together. We are fortunate enough to find uh, to have found a, a apartment here that has a kitchen fully equipped so it's pretty easy and you can yeah, you can bring a bit of South Africa over as well in yeah. terms of cooking. You don't have to they have some westernized foods here as well. So yeah. Okay. But it's really nice. Mm. And the people how would you say the people here are in Thailand? The people, from my experience, it was a bit of a, a hassle from the start, just the language barrier, but as soon as you, you pick up words here and there, and they really go out of their way to to try help you as far as they can. I mean, um, example, we have a guy just selling skewers and sticky rice, and every time we go to, to buy something, some from him, he whips out his phone, Google Translate or whatnot, he tries to to help to meet you halfway. So the people are very friendly, very open. You get your odd here and there where it's really a struggle, but there's always a way to, to sort of, there's always someone to step in that has a bit of knowledge of the language, but very friendly and very helpful. Yeah, but I mean, it's pretty easy, like you said, to integrate yourself. Once you are and you throw yourself into the culture, it's pretty immersible. So, just speaking from my own experience, I came to Thailand first as well, and with myself, I came alone. So, I had to integrate myself into the culture very quickly because my communication barrier was even worse. So, I understand that it is a bit of a battle. Um, so, on that note, it's 
would you say it's the best experience of your life? Would you recommend it to other people that are struggling with the choice of should I do it, shouldn't I do it, is it worth it, isn't it worth it? Would you say it's actually worth it? Yes, um, 100%. I would say it is, it is worth it. Um, looking in a sense, we, we don't call it running away or something, but uh, looking to a better, towards a better future. And in a sense, look, since I've been here, it's been the, the period of my life where I've been the most stress-free. You have that time to yourself. Yes, you are working, but it's not, it, it doesn't have that big an impact as back home. And um, yeah, you can build something here. You can really start building a little nest egg for yourself, building towards your future. There are opportunities. And it is really, it is easier getting by, especially with a lot of teachers. I know it's a struggle finding work back home, um, even if they have a qualification degree. But here it's, people actually appreciate you for yeah. your qualification and what you have to offer and at the end of the day that's a dream for everyone. No, I agree with you that. And look, okay, so we know that it's always the situation that uprooting yourself is not easy and I mean you do need a support structure and that's why nomadic teachers is easier because I know what I went through. So with them being the first couple of people I agree with you there Wayne. Um, what I also would like to know is if indeed you had the option to go back to SA um, in the current state that South Africa is in now, would you say it's the case of, just a simple yes or no, would you say it's the case of more of not if but when? Would you go back to South Africa or would you feel that you're more comfortable now in this country and rather going back on a holiday to South Africa? Yes, holiday. Holiday. Yeah, so obviously your views have changed, your goals have yeah. changed and everything like that. Okay, so now, just to give you a little bit of insight, Wayne has got a girlfriend that is also from South Africa, Christy. She's also been a great support to the whole structure. So in that being said, how would you sum up Thailand in a couple of words, if not one or two sentences? Hmm. Tough. Hmm. Tough to begin with, but 100% worth it. 1000%. Okay, so it's a really great experience. Okay, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. And thank you. Thank you. Okay.